Oh, my dear old friend. Jennifer Langley. Who are you? Hmm? You get younger and more beautiful every time I see you. What's your secret? Vitamin E, hard work, and hope. Oh. <laughs> Stan. Stan Ellis, it can't be. Jenny. It is you, oh, Stan, after all these years. Oh. Forgive me for not getting up. I'm surprised you recognize me like this. Oh, I'd like you to meet, well, he used to be Lieutenant Stan Ellis. Stan, this is Meryl Steubing. Lieutenant Ellis? Mr. Ellis, for many years now. How do you do, Captain? Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to do much socializing, Jenny. I, uh, I have a lot of uh, reading to catch up on. Excuse me, Captain. Oh, <laughs> Captain, did we just hit an iceberg? It did get a bit chilly there. But you know, he used to be one of the warmest, loving men. I wonder what happened. <laughs> I'm beginning to understand. You're not Stan Ellis at all. You are an imposter. Hmm? I beg your pardon. Not the Stan Ellis I used to know very well. <laughs> Would have had his nose buried in a book like that with all these luscious young beauties bouncing around. Now, come on. Confess what you do with him. <laughs> well, I was hoping we might. But if you'd rather just tell me to jump into the Pacific, I won't bother you for the rest of the cruise. I see the years have made Jenny less forthright, have they, Jenny? I hope not. Tell me, what uh, ever happened to that girl you went back to America to see and then married? I lost Ellen a little over a year ago. When she died, everything else died with her, including what was left of me. Please don't say that. Hill, the automobile crash that took her left me like this, but for very little. You were right when you set up as an imposter. I am. I may have Stan Ellis's name and face and maybe a few of his memories. But the man you know is John, Jenny. Don't try to bring him back. You're only wasting your time. Mr. Ellis will sing. He had the best voice since Nightingale sang in Barclay Square. <laughs> well, maybe he needs a little encouragement. Everybody. If you like, I'll bring a drink to the piano. I'm not aboard to be part of anyone's entertainment. Didn't I make that clear? Well, I was just hoping to persuade you to join the living. All the hoping in the world can manage that, Jenny. I'm grateful for your good feelings, but just leave me alone. Well, that is a very easy request to fulfill, but there's one thing you ought to know. You have turned into the most miserable... That's right. Now you're finally beginning to understand. Oh, I do. You've made it emphatically clear. Jenny? Oh. Did you find out what changed Mr. Ellis? Well, his wife died in the same accident that put him in that wheelchair. 
I tried to jolly him up a bit, but I'm afraid it was a mistake. Oh, Merrill, when will I learn to mind my own business? But you were just looking for a way to make him happier. Oh, well, if that's what I was looking for, I certainly found it. Oh, I can make him very happy, all right, if I leave completely alone. He made that extremely clear. But you know, it's not as simple as all that. We met in London during the war, and of course we fell in love and planned our whole lives together. And then when he could, he went back to America to break the news gently to the girl he was engaged to. And then the next thing I knew, I received his dear Jenny letter. I never saw him again. Not till he came aboard the ship. You know, meeting you again could be the best thing that's ever happened to him. Well, obviously, his personal problems have taken over his life. But maybe you, someone from his past, his happy past, can make him forget. Yes, but suppose it just makes him more unhappy and more bitter. But how would you feel if you didn't give it a try? 